it's not so easy to find a real craftsman still out there these days. But as it stands, that's exactly who I found today. Established in 1981, this little treasure of a place still specialises in fine bookbinding and conservation, using techniques dating back all the way to the Renaissance. Nick Doslov has been making an honest living by binding books for others for many years. Renaissance bookbinding was established to promote and enhance the ancient craft of bookbinding. I wanted to know, we're in this beautiful place, but how rare is it to find a craftsman like yourself who specialises in bookbinding? Well, I, I specialise in hand bookbinding, yep. conservation and restoration, and letterpress printing. Um, we are pretty rare. Yep. Um, there are uh, a number of bookbinders in Melbourne, uh, in Victoria, practising um, bookbinding on a professional level, and there's a lot of uh, uh, amateur or um, craft-based uh, um, hobbyists uh, practicing it too. So, okay. Yeah. And can you explain some of the tools that you use and sort of how long they date back? Well, uh, bookbinding is there's uh, all of these tools that you see in here yeah. um, um, are used in in binding, including uh, uh, lots of sharp knives uh, working le with leather, yep. sewing uh, needles is do used for sewing, um, gold tooling. Uh, different tools used for, for the actual gold uh, finishing on spines of books. Mm -hmm. um, so in, there's a lot of tools in, in this craft, a lot of type, yep. of course, different typefaces, there's so many of them. You know? yeah, of uh, so in, in printing the titles on, in gold on the outside of the cover. Yep. Uh, and um, so you need to have a, a, a variety of typefaces. Uh, or type fonts. Very, very exciting. Mm. Well, we're going to go and check it out. Um, mm. Nick's going to show us some of his techniques about how to do some book binding. So, um, let's go. Okay, I'd like to talk about uh, gold tooling and gold finishing um, stages of book. It's the last uh, process or last stage of um, book binding. Um, gold tooling uh, is done on the spine and on the covers and also on the edges and it's called gophering and it's done after the gold leaf is applied to the edges and what you use is these hand engraved brass tools which are heated over a gas stove and in gold leaf is placed over the top and it is then tooled. That's the basis of it. Um, and that's how you get all of that panel work and there's all different designs. Okay, this is a, uh, a type cabinet with uh, fonts of type in these cases, uh, which most of them are uppercase in this particular one. There's, there are some that are lowercase. And um, uh, there's both uh, foundry and monotype in here, and there's a little bit of brass type too. So um, how we go about setting, we have a, a compositor stick, which is just a, a little tool which enables you to adjust and you, you hold that uh, in, your, in your left hand and you set with your, if you're right handed, so you mm -hmm. set upside down. So right. we're setting fringe. Yeah, fringe lane. 